Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, show you. I know we've, we've been working on Bernie, and I, I think some of you guys have not quite started or uh, you're kind of behind. So I'm making this video for you, plus I'm making it for those to show you how to do a shadow. So that's what we're going to do now. So first you get into Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. Now, that X automatically uh, came up. So if, if you start this and uh, you get the X, we don't want the X because the X is not like Photoshop. We want the, the tools that are like Photoshop. So you want to come over here where it says Pixlr E. Now, the nice thing about this is it's online. You don't have to log in. You don't have to make an account. And as long as you're on the same computer, it will kind of remember what you've been working on as you've been working on it. Now, this won't stay forever because I don't, I, I think I did actually make an account, but you don't have to. Now, these will eventually go away because I'm, I'm not on a paid account. So, so eventually those will go away. But make sure this says E over here. Okay, and then you're... If you've not been into it yet, you're going to create new. You're not even going to have any of this. You're going to say create new. And then I would like you to go ahead and, and just do the full HD down here. These are This is actually uh, pixels per inch. So, so there's, well, it's 1920 pixels. And there's 72 pixels per inch is what I meant to say. So uh, these are not inches. Uh, and I'm not even sure it lets you do inches. I think it's always in pixels. So we're, we're just going to keep it right there at this full for now. Go ahead and give it a title. It's going to be your Bernie and me. Or I'm going to show you how to cut out Bernie. And then I'm going to show you how to place Bernie into another picture. And then I'm going to show you how to do a shadow. Now you also have to put yourself in the picture too. I'm, I'm not going to show you that part. Because uh, I don't have a picture of myself right now. So, But I'm going to say Bernie and me and then I'm going to create so here's my canvas now I've got to bring in the Bernie now I gave you guys the picture of Bernie you need to go into Google Classroom and download it so it'll be on your computer and then once that's there <clears throat> and you've opened this up you're gonna hit this little plus right here this is your layers palette right here see it says layers you're gonna hit this little plus right here and then you're gonna hit that image and then when you do that your uh your library should come up your so i'm gonna i know it's on the desktop because i've already downloaded my already put him in the desktop it's a screenshot so now i gotta find the screen there he is i see him so i'm gonna click there and then i'm gonna click uh open and there's my bernie now bernie is a little taller <clears throat> than your canvas is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you go to delete him, the background of him, make sure you bring that down. Otherwise, you're not going to see any of that. So I'm going to start out. Over here are the tools. And the reason we're using the Pixlr E is because these tools most resemble Photoshop. There's differences, and we'll see that once you get in school and you start working in Photoshop. You will see the differences. But the selection tools are right up here up top. These are your selection tools, these four right here. Now, I want to get rid of this background. So there's a magic wand which will allow you to come over here and click. And everything that's clicked and selected, you could hit delete and it'll delete. I don't want to do that because it, it, is, it does go by color. So this light color, but see his hair is similar in color. So it's selected that too. So I don't want that. Now, when you see these little, these little wiggly lines, you can't do anything else until you get rid of those. So I'm going to come up to the word select, deselect, and that way they'll be gone. Above that magic wand, it's called a wand selected Photoshop. It's magic wand. Above that is uh, a marquee they call it marquee select so I'm going to click on it now you have 
a rectangle marquee or an oval or ellipse marquee. Right now I'm going to stay with the rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here since I have this big area above him. I'm going to come up there and delete that. Now, I can't do anything else as long as that's right there. I, I can move it, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to delete him. So I'm going to come up to the word select, deselect, or control D on your keyboard. If you want to do the shortcut. But I want now I want to move him up. So I'm going to use my selection tool. I think it's called an arrange tool, not a selection tool. And now I'm going to use that same tool to get rid of the sides here. Now I can't see below. For one, I'm going to delete this. That shouldn't be there. And then I can go to the other side. Now, because I've got that there, I can come over here. I don't have to do the, the select, deselect. I can do this. Now I'm going to be really careful because where I'm going to put him somewhere and I want to do a shadow for you. I'm going to show you how to do a shadow. So I want to make sure I keep his chair, but I want everything in between him and the chair to be gone. So I'm, I'm going to, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult. So I am going to select deselect to get rid of that. And here again, I'm going to move him up. Because now you see all this part down here I missed. So back to that. And delete. And I'll come over here do this side right here. Delete. Now, I'm going to show you a couple other ways. So make sure I select, deselect here. There's a couple other ways you can delete around him. You can, right here, is called a lasso select. I can click on that, and when I click on that, you see, so what, whenever I'm on the tool over here, the stuff up here changes. So this is contingent upon whatever I'm here. So if I click on that, you see how that changes? If I click on that, that changes. Right now, I'm on what's called the lasso select. So now you see there's different types up here. See these different types? That is, it's called free, but what that allows me to do is to come over here and you see how I, I, I'm using, I'm going around and I'm just making a circle. So I can do that. That's with that one. This one is called a polygon and it is close to the pen tool. You remember when we did the, we used the pen tool and grab it. Let me first select, deselect the shortcut to control D. I should be using that, but I, I really want you guys to know what it is. So I'm going to zoom back in. And you guys, while you're using this program, you're going to be zooming in and out, in and out. Now you can do it right here. It's, that navigates right there. And I can see how I'm doing that. Or you can do it, I, I do it by my mouse pad on my laptop. But with this polygon, it will allow me to click. So it's like the pen tool. It allows me to click, move, click, move so every time i click it'll let me change direction so i can go around him i get really close to i can i can get all the way to that edge so i can go around and do that uh it takes a while it takes patience because you know you want to you want to get up close so here again select deselect get rid of that so if i want to zoom in and really get close to those edges and click and click and click and click and click you want to click every time you want to change direction so if it's if it's straight you can just click until it until it curves so see now I can go around that now I'm just gonna come up here and do this and you do want to close it just like when you're doing a shape with the pen tool you close it and then I can hit delete and now that, that's gone uh, so that's that tool. So now let me show you this tool. The tool right next to it is called a Bezier. I don't like it. I, I, I tried messing with that. And that gives me a curve. So as I'm doing it, it curves. And, and I really, I don't have a lot of control over it. So I don't even want to use that. 
So, and the next one is called a magnetic. Now what it does, and you might find it, 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 it might work for you. What it's going to do is it's going to cling to strong contrast of colors. So if I click right here where his jacket is, and I just kind of move my mouse, it's, it wants to cling to, to his jacket. Gonna cling like a magnet. So that might work sometimes. Now, when it doesn't work is when colors are similar. So that might get kind of hairy. Let me click right there. Now I can delete that. So you could use that tool too. But for me, it never fails. I'm always going to get to the point where I've got to use the eraser. Because if you're using that tool, you see that, that white line that's around that edge? I don't like that, especially if I'm trying to make something look real, like it really belongs there. If I'm going to put him in a different, different picture and I want it to look real, I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to come over here to the eraser tool. And this is your eraser tool right here. It's eraser. See, it says eraser. I'm going to click on it. Now here is the brushes. And that's like the brush of your eraser. So if I click right there where it says 40, that's the size right now. I can change that. I can make it smaller. I can make it larger. I can change the appearance of that. This, when it's solid like that, is called a hard brush. And then when it's like this with the fuzzy edge, that's called a soft one. Now when I'm trying to erase a background, especially a person. I don't want it to look like you've taken a pair of scissors and you've cut it out like uh, like from a magazine and you're doing a collage. I don't like that. I want to use the soft edge brush. And then when I'm doing this, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make that brush smaller. And this is a soft edge, so it's going to it's going to leave like a almost like a little transparent on the edge. Now, now the reason it looks like it looks right now, it doesn't look like a circle. If I make that bigger, it'll look like a circle. Now, but you see that what I did, it's too big. So I took all that away. So let me edit undo, because I did not want to do that. In fact, let me zoom out so you could see this better. I made that really big. Okay, so right now you see it, it's a circle. Well, if I zoom in, and this is the difference between the Grab It program and the, this Pixlr, or the difference between Illustrator, when we get in, in school, we're gonna work in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. And the biggest difference is the Photoshop and as well as this Pixlr, it's made of pixels which means the little dots of color or little squares it actually looks like squares, but little dots of color. So when I zoom in, you see those dots. You, do you see that? Do you see the, how it pixels? You can really see the pixel. So I, I don't know if you've uh, ever uh, taken a picture off the internet and then you try to enlarge it and it, and it blurries, it gets real blurry on you. It's pixelating. So, and that's why logos are usually always done in Illustrator because Illustrator is made of vectors, not pixels. And vectors are like lines and they will never pixel on you. So you can blow it up and be as big as you want to and it won't pixelate. That's the difference between Illustrator and Photoshop. So anyway, that is still way too big. I'm going to come down here, but I do want to make sure I'm using this a soft edge. Oops, that's too big. Now I have to get used to this program because it's a little different than Photoshop. A little different. So I'm going to come on here. I'm just going to kind of be really careful because I want that edge. But I don't want inside of him. So I have to be careful. 
There we go. Not that edge. Now see the difference between now, now, now when you're looking at it, I'm putting my finger up here. You guys can't see my finger. I'm pointing at it. But you see the difference between that right there and then that, this up here? So that's what I want to do. I, I want to get rid of that white edge. Now, I'm only going to do a little bit here, and then I'm going to uh, do the whole thing. I'm going to stop the video so you don't have to painlessly see me do all this because it's going to take a while. And then I'm going to come back and, and, and show you the rest of it. But um, I'm going to get in here, and I want to erase inside here. Now, I might be able to. Let me get on this tool so I can bring him up here. I might be able to use that magic wand in here because this is such a different color than everything else around it. So if I click, see, it only did in there. And I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to do that in here. So that didn't take too long. I'm still going to have to take an eraser and go over wherever there's like a little a white edge. But for the main part, it's doing pretty good. This magic wand is, is doing pretty good here. Because it's just getting that color. Now, if I come right here, see, that color matches the shirt, his, his coat too much, so I can't do that. So I'm going to have to use the eraser for that. Let's see. And I'm going to make, and you've got to really be careful because you don't want to erase something. Sorry for the advertisement there. You don't want to erase something and then later on realize, oh, I erased that, and you can't get it back because it's been so long. So you really got to be careful before you hit that word delete. You want to be really careful. So I'm going to finish erasing this, and then I'll uh, make another uh, video and, and continue on. So I'll see you on the other side.